Well, hello to my Flickering Myth family and all you horror fans out there. My name is EJ and welcome to Flickering Myth. In this video, we are going to be diving into a brand new movie review. If you are a horror fan, you've heard about this as it's come around on the like independent festival circuit. We are now finally diving into Late Night with the Devil. Late Night with the Devil. First and foremost, if you're subscribed to Flickering Myth, thank you so much for joining us. We are nearing 30,000 subs, so it means the world that you guys are joining us for these videos, for these lists, all that jazz. And if you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? You need to join us. Hit that bell, hit that little button. It is You, you need to be here, especially if I'm going to review movies that are as amazing as Late Night with the Devil. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, oh my, I love this movie. It slapped me in the face. It has so many elements I like. There's a little bit of satanic panic. There's a found footage vibe to it. It's just weird. And of course, David Dashmalkian, one of the best actors we have working today. He, he's been in that supporting category for quite some time. You know him as Polka Dot Man. He had a brief appearance in The Dark Knight years and years ago. This man has been around for a while, but I have never seen him in this form. I've never seen David Dashmalkian just eat up the, the screen, his character, we'll talk about this, the story of all this, but I just had to give him a special shout out because he's an actor I've loved for quite some time. But seeing him in this role, seeing this movie in general, we need horror movies that aren't afraid to be a little ridiculous, aren't afraid to go over the top, but still have a core, a soul to them that grounds all of the craziness. You can have the most over the top wild adventures. We see it a lot, especially from Shutter releases, you know, something that like a V HS or Perpetrator or God, the countless movies that are coming out on Shudder weekly, it seems like, but they don't really hit the buttons that I think Late Night with the Devil has. This is just damn good. It's scary. It's bloody. It's weird. It's a little occult. It's a little supernatural. Again, like it's a little found footage. There is, if you love 70s television, if you're a familiar with public access kind of person, that me, oh my God, I love public access TV. I love these little like kind of cheesy uh, 70s talk shows, especially, you know, we're, we're like watching this character face off with Johnny Carson and the ratings and stuff. This is a great time period. This has so many elements to it that really makes it hit. It's not just a great horror film. It's a really damn good movie. It has so many different supernatural, so many different satanic elements to really come together to make an experience that, like I said, will hit you in the face with a damn good time. What you're about to see. You okay, Jack? It's <laughs> profoundly disturbing and shocking. In Late Night with the Devil, we follow Jack Delroy, a TV host who is struggling with the ratings a bit. He has just lost his wife. He's just truly in a spot that it, it's rough. He doesn't know if he's going to be even continuing on the show. So he decides to cook up a, a Sweeps Week special. If you don't know what Sweeps Weeks are, it's when like a lot of advertisers, a lot of people, or a lot of eyes are on television. So they want to make sure they put out the craziest content. Well, Sweeps Weeks happens to fall during Halloween 1970. So what does Jack Delroy do? He decides to throw together the craziest Halloween episode you've ever seen. He has skeptics. He has psychics. He has demonically maybe possessed girls who are the only survivors of a mass like offing at a like satanic cult. Oh, that's quite the guest to have. And boy, does that guest turn out to be a what the hell moment, especially when we get to the end. And I'm like, where are we going? What is the surreal tone? This movie takes you through a journey. But we're mostly following Jack Delroy, played by David Josh Malkian, who is just this... David is just this amazing figure in this movie. He... I, I hate the Jack character, but I love the Jack character. I understand wanting to like, well, we got to do it for the, you know, do it for the, the TikTok nowadays, or you know what I mean? Like, you got to do thing, thing. You got to do these crazy things to really push our stories forward. So, like, he has that psychic there. He has the person who doesn't really believe in the paranormal. So that skeptic is always there to kind of combat people. So when he brings in this woman who has a young girl in her care, who has went through a tragedy... He, you're like, oh, he's truly pushing the boundaries further than he needs to. And especially when people start dying, he's still like, 
nah, let's let's keep it going. That's that that drive, that hunger that scares you. I mean, the, the, the Jack character is scarier than the gross demonic Satan shit that's happening because he's just so driven and he puts the people into this position for this to happen. And I, I think that's where this movie really unfolds in its thing. You know, you meet the first case, that's the psychic who does a, a great little show and you're like, oh, and things start happening to him. Then you find out what happens to him. The skeptic's there. And then when we get that little girl played by, what was it, Ingrid? Torelli, I think her name is. Whew, she is a powerhouse in this movie. Her presence, her ability to pull you in, to scare you, then she also feels like a frightened little girl at times. This is such layered uh, performances, such great work coming from all the actors. But what I really have to shout out is the filmmaking. These directors, the style, oh my goodness. The sibling duo from Australia, Cameron and Colin Carnes, Karens, are amazing filmmakers i don't know where they've been this entire time but like between the philippu brothers would talk to me and now with these from late night with the devil wow what are we going on with australian filmmakers what is going on? do we do y'all need a hug because y'all made some twisted messed up movies what these two brothers did with cameron and colin did with late night with the devil was so experimental, so fun. They're mixing different mediums. For for the most part, we're kind of watching a, a television show. We're watching the broadcast that's doing, but they would cut away to these found footage, black and white moments where we're getting the behind the scenes of all of this. Those are where the juicy bits come in. I love when it's like Big Bang spectacle and it's all that, but those little quieter moments, that's when I saw good filmmaking. That's when I saw that these guys aren't just here to do some crazy horror stunts. Let's just get a big final act where everything goes banana cuckoo pants crazy. They really built towards that. That is strong filmmaking. We, like, especially with low-budget horror films, especially the ones I see on Shudder. I love Shudder, but every now and then you get a movie that you're like, wow, you really just wanted to show off your really cool special effects. Or, whoa, this was just a showcase for one good actor. Not this movie. David Josh Malkin does great. But again, the supporting cast, the the actor, you know, the, the, the people just in the crowd. There's this one guy who's in a skull mask the whole time. I was terrified by them. I don't know why. Just the presence of them terrified me. And that's a good extra. That's good filmmaking. This is just two people who I feel like understand horror filmmaking in the way it should be. I love my gross, gross out moments. I love my brutal slashing kills in horror movies, but I have to care of these people, but I have to understand the motivations for things. Now, I don't need you to sit down and hold my hand. I didn't need to know everything about Jack to understand why he got here. That was, again, good filmmaking, good acting. David, I definitely think, read this character and brought more life to it than what was on the page, not to shade any script writers, anything like that, but I feel like we had a really great talent. See good material material and say we can go further we can push this to a different level and that's what happened here i just love the mixed medium filmmaking i really love what this felt at I, I don't know i just haven't seen a horror movie like this that i feel like is a guaranteed smash hit like i don't care if this isn't going to be a box office like uh, big but in the horror community we're going to be talking about late night with the devil for quite some time this will stick with us the way you know indie movies have something like uh you know the a24 ones like a witch hereditary and you know we have other ones like the neon movies you know there, there's just something about horror movies these ones that feel like it's just for us you guys can have your big budgeted you know first omen all these big blockbuster ones five nights at freddy's but give us something that diehard horror fans can feast on and that's what late night with the devil exactly is what a wonderful movie what a wonderful time i had breaking down late night with the devil there's just so much here that i don't even want to spoil there's just a lot that happens in this movie that you need to see for yourself it drops in the coming weeks on Shutter or wherever you're able to find this movie i honestly if it is 19.99 for a rental bro rent it like it is worth it like i cannot stress enough how this movie is a slam dunk like a four and a half star for me like just the little cheaper special effect the low budgetness does keep this from being a smash hit but that again i i understand the low budget limitations i can work around it but it it, it does keep it from being a perfect movie but overall wow you need to see late night with the devil what did you think of this movie what do you think of this review share your feelings down in the comments below subscribe to flickering myth like i said we are on that way to thirty thousand. i want you to join us because it is so fun talking about all these movies all these tv shows with you all subscribe thumbs up what did I did I miss anything all right let's just talk about late night with the devil right down below